Hi guys, it's April and I am going to do a mid month wrap up. I know it's a little early to do one right now. Life is just a little bit crazy right now and so I got to take time when I have time and this is when I've got time. I don't know how I'm going to handle Rita Rama this weekend. I'm still thinking about doing daily vlogs. I have traditionally all the time in the past. There hasn't been a Rita Rama I haven't done it for so I feel a little squishy about not doing it so I may do it but I, I think are up in the air but I have some books I want to talk to you about because that's what I do I read the first book that I want to talk to you guys about is Sandman volume 1 by Neil Gaiman this is a interesting graphic novel to say the least it centers around this group who has somehow captured the Sandman and so things are going a little bit wonky in that region some people aren't sleeping some people are sleeping it's chaotic but they won't let the Sandman go that's pretty much my synopsis that I'm gonna give you right now what I didn't realize was that this Sandman graphic novel was was set in the DC universe which is interesting but my problem with getting into comics and graphic novels like this especially when they're interwoven into the multiverse I feel like I need to know everything to understand some of the nuances so they're really really hard to get into so as soon as those kind of elements started popping up I started to lose interest I do like how it takes a lot of the mythologies around death and time and sleep and all of that kind of stuff but when you brought in the scarecrow and things like that I just it's cool and I like the cameos I guess but I felt like I was missing something how it all fits together I don't know if I'm going to continue on with it I might there are two more volumes at the library that I could possibly check out maybe if I'm itching for a graphic novel and I don't have anything in my hands I then picked up and binged West by Edith Padu this is a sequel to East which is a retelling of East of the Sun West of the Moon this continues on in Rose's journey later in life it's three years later some things are happening and I can't really tell you without spoiling a lot of stuff that happens in the first book the first book East is one of my favorite books growing up so I was really excited when I learned about the sequel I might have gotten too overexcited about it and then not been too thrilled about it I have a full review over this book I will link it up above and down below in case you're interested in a more in-depth thought because there are a lot of things I did like getting back into this universe but at the same time I felt like the story should have just been left alone because I wasn't too excited about what happened to some of my characters and how we felt like we needed to bring some of this stuff back I just it didn't feel right to me I next picked up Odd Thomas by Dean Kuntz I know I have mentioned the graphic novel in the past that is centered around this series this is the first time I've actually read the novelization of all of this I've watched the movie I decided it's time to get into this adorable universe where Odd Thomas sees ghosts they don't talk to him because for some reason ghosts don't talk but they still let him know things and so he's always on a mission to help these spirits and in this book he he knows something grand is going to happen so he's on a mission to stop future deaths I love how Dean Coots does the dynamic between some of these characters I really really like how they interplay with each other and Odd is just a character that I could truly come to love so I'm really excited about starting to dive into the series this first book I liked it it may be some of that nostalgia from first watching the movie and really enjoying the movie because as I was reading this I was seeing bits and pieces of the movie I'm just excited to see where all this goes even though it ended in a place that yeah I then picked up and reread rocket surgery made easy by Steve Krug this is a book I read for my work book club this is just about how to do your own usability testing this is the realm I live in which is why it's it's marked up like crazy I really really like this book and it was nice to get a refresher I highly recommend this for anybody who's looking at testing software or is testing products and they just want to do something quick dirty but effective this is a really really good book to pick up and last but not least I want to talk about Skyward by Brandon Sanderson I would have a copy to hold right now but for some reason it's in the mail somewhere I don't know where but I was so excited about this new book that I picked up an electronic version of it because I needed to read this sucker this is the story of Spencer who is bound and determined to join the pilot fleet on her planet that is part of the defiant group however it's not going to be easy for her because 
because in the past her father had been labeled a coward and now she's fighting against that prejudice against her family. She's a very strong-willed woman and of course it's Brandon Sanderson. The way he writes these kind of characters fascinates me to no end and he also introduces some very epic personalities. I can't explain it too much without giving a lot of it away. He develops a lot of these very interesting personalities that I truly love and the way he weaves this story together and starts picking apart your assumptions of where you thought this story was going to go and then it just kind of pulls itself a different direction. Oh, Brandon Sanderson has a way of just flipping everything in my brain and I love him for it very, very much and I am excited to see where this series goes because sci-fi, scrappy teenage girl, I'm all for it. So those are the books that I have read so far in November. Readerama is coming up, so I will hopefully get a lot of things read in this very chaotic life of mine. Tell me down below what you have been reading, what you've read, if you've read any of these books and what you think about them, and I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.